I drank from hundreds of bottles of whiskeys last year to give you the top five whiskeys of 2023. Welcome to Whiskey Inc. My name is David. And if you include all the pours I had, not including the vast amount of bottles I have at my home, but also including pours I had at bars, at friends' house, or even samples I got, I probably had over 200 different types of whiskeys and bottles in 2023. That's a lot. And it was a lot of fun, <laughs> a lot of good times, but I also ventured into different types of whiskeys, scotch, single malt, Japanese, Canadian, American whiskey. And it was a lot of, obviously, good experiences to kind of round out my palate so I can get you the best review on the bourbons I've tried. And I'm gonna give you the top five of the bourbons I have in 2023. So before we get to the bottles, I'm gonna get you my rules to be eligible for the whiskey of the year. First, I have to have a bottle of it. The reason, I like to experience the whiskey multiple times over multiple nights in order to make sure that it's one of the whiskeys of the year. Now, if you just have a sample, just had tried at a friend's house, it's not going to give you the full experience, or it might just be a one-off experience where it's really good or really bad, even though it's somewhere in the middle. So that's going to that's going to eliminate any feed tax or pappies that didn't get any of those. Number two, the bottle had to be released, obtained, or got popular in 2023. The reason I like to highlight the bottles that was released in 2023. And the last rule, no store picks. Basically, there's too limited and also too much variance. But single barrel, nationally distributed, non-store picks are eligible for this list. The one disclaimer, when I say whiskey of the year, it means bourbon and its family. Rye, American whiskey, even Canadian whiskey. First, the honorable mention before we get to the top five, it's gonna be 13 Colony Double Oak, batch two of this year. I had a sample from a friend and it was absolutely delicious. And I try to find, I try to do everything I can to find a bottle, right? The seal box release, I think they had a lottery with a signed bottle. I try to go through secondary markets. I think the cheapest I found it was like 700 bucks. Can't do that. Um, and so there was just absolutely no legit way of finding a bottle. So I actually contacted their colony, told them the situation, and kindly asked for a, uh, a sample. And what did they do? They gave me a sample. Um, I had a small pour of this from this sample and it's amazing and it would have definitely made the, the top five of my list if I had a bottle but thank you so much 13 Colony I absolutely appreciate it I really hope that you guys came into the California market soon so I can buy your stuff as often as possible and enjoy it as often as I can way too much talking not enough bottles let's get it the top five whiskeys of 2023 number five Jack Daniels 12 year old coming at 107 proof and it's aged 12 years old. It's a fantastic bottle. So my experience summary is this. It's a crepe that's lightly charred with a sweet, rich doughiness. And then it's topped with vanilla ice cream that's smooth and silky with oak aged maple syrup because of the sweet oakiness with a dash of cinnamon, nutmeg, and one teeny little slice of banana. I mean, you get slight remnants of banana, but you don't get it that much. It feels like the age really tamed that down. And the spice, it was there. You knew it was there, but it really wasn't, like it was the side show. The main show was the sweet, oaky maple goodness. It's an amazing bottle. I can't believe that two years and a couple of proof points made this bottle that much better than Jack 10. It does say batch one, so there's, gonna be a batch two. There's gonna be a hopefully a batch three, four or five. That's gonna give us hopefully more supply. So it's a little bit easier to get than Jack 12, which was really, really hard to get. And there's pictures of this, which has the Jack 15 and the Jack 18. So hopefully that means there's more Jacks to go around and more sweet bourbon goodness for everyone. All right, number four on the list is gonna be the Little Book Chapter Seven. Now this is a blend of seven different cash drink whiskeys age varying between 4 to 18 years old and is proof coming in at 118.1. My experience summary for this is like having a heavily cinnamon spice cronut that has a vanilla custard feeling covered in caramel and dark chocolate powder next to a floor card. It was smooth, 
oily and his finish was long and beautiful. And the dark chocolate powder note at the end is what really gets me. And because you get the sweet, the spice, a little bit of fruit, but it gets all balanced out by that dark chocolate powder bitterness. If you're enjoying this content, please push that like button. It really does help me out. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Because then I can do more videos and have more fun drinking whiskey and talking like I know what I'm doing. So my number three bottle of 2023 is Stag Batch 23C. Now, it's a little controversial because a lot of more people like the 22A or the 22B better, but hey, I like this better. It's my list, so get on with it. <laughs> All right, so my experience summary for this is going to be, felt like I was having an extra well-done churro with brown sugar and cinnamon spice all over it, dipped in a cherry syrup with, and it felt like I had a sip of a perfect Americano at the end to, you know, wash it all down. And this one, unlike 22A or 22B, really gives a lot more of that coffee bitterness at the end to round it all out. It's not as, I guess, sweet, especially not as cherry as 22A. Sometimes if it's a little too cherry, it's a little too sweet. Yes, the first two or three sips might be good. But the fourth, fifth might be a little bit too, how do you say? It just gets too overwhelming. So for me, this is a great pour and a better pour than the 22A because of that drinkability and their repeat drinkability. So I can get drunk all day and all night. So number two on the list could be the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Fry. These don't come with any age statement, but they're rumored to be anywhere between six to seven and a half years old. And they're proof because their single barrels can range from 125 all the way to 145. So if you find anything that's 140 plus has map, let me know because I would love to try one. <laughs> but the experience summary for this, is gonna be a heavily toasted rye bread with powdered sugar and vanilla pudding with fried red berries on top. It's really oily, smooth, and it's finished as long with sweet oak. It's complex, with intense flavor, yet it's, it's, it's so balanced. I mean, you get the rice pies, you get the red fruit, you get the powdered sugar, you get just punch, punch and then you get the vanilla pudding and you get the cream. It feels like it's, it's all over the place. And yet, in the end, it all comes together, all smooth, and all balanced. And you just want to go for it again and again and again. And the best part is that it's becoming, I don't want to say an everyday shelfer, but it's becoming more and more available. So in my area, up until November, it was extremely allocated, really hard to get. All of a sudden, November, there was a second release and there was a lot more people that was able to get it. And in December, there was another release. And now it's, there's some liquor store that's, it's just sitting on the shelves. It's been there for about a week or two and it's not moving as fast as I thought it would. And based on my comments, when I did this review, there are states where it's just sitting on the shelves. It doesn't move. Just sitting there at 60, 70, 80 bucks, just waiting for somebody to drink it. That's pretty awesome. So I'm surprised it's this good. I'm really glad that it's one that hopefully will be an everyday shelf. So number two, Jack Daniels, single barrel barrel profile. All right, my number one whiskey of 2023. And if you see my videos, you'll probably guess what it is. That'd be the old Carter American whiskey batch 12 coming at 133.3 proof eight. It is non age dated, but it's believed to be around 12 to 13 years old. To me, this is the most perfect bourbon or whiskey that I had in 2023. My experience summary goes like this. Basically I had the perfectly baked cinnamon, sweet cinnamon spice, doughy, brown sugar, melted caramel, the just gooey goodness that was topped with sweet fruit, strawberries, peaches, apricot. And I had it with a cup of perfectly brewed espresso Americano. Oh man. And I think you're getting a pattern of what whiskeys I like, right? Basically fruit, sweet, spice, and the finish with sweet oak and either dark chocolate or coffee bitterness to round it all out. To me, that's what makes it complex and balanced. And this did it in the most perfect way possible for me in 2023. So what is your top five whiskeys of 2023? Let me know in the comments below. Also, do you agree or disagree with my list? 
what would you take out or what do you think actually I got right? Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.